Well, Daisy and I are, are outside of Bancroft and we thought we'd, we, I thought I'd futz around a little bit and look at some road cuts on my way to a different site. So this one I thought was interesting. I'm starting to see some mineralization. Let's take a look at a few of the rocks and then go collect some. Uh, what I'm really focusing on is calcite, so something I'll probably etch later. I'll put it all in one video and we ought to have something uh, interesting to watch. Well, there's a big old calcite vein up there and another over here. Whoops. It's hollowed out underneath. Let's Look at some of it that's fallen down below. These are the drill hole when they blasted for the road. Take that. Another little vein. That almost looks like selenite. Here's a real jumble of broken rock. Calcite all through it. Nice. Well, here's a hole that somebody or something at some point dug out. I think they were following the calcite. Well, the ones they left behind, you don't see anything in it. Let's, let's get something fresh. Interesting loose rock. See the calcite crystals, and that looks like a broken, very large garnet. Wow, what else we got here? Here's a calcite crystal, actually, multiple calcite crystals. Take that one. Right. 
got a green tinge to it. I'll take the smaller one. Catch it out later. Just to see what might be buried inside. Oh, look at those gar those crystals in there, eh? Maybe a fractured garnet. <laughs> Drill hole. More calcite than that one. Drill hole. Oh, there's some kind of crystally. I'll take that. Well, finding the secrets of any new spot is always really difficult. Unless somebody can show you, or you just luck into it. I don't really know here what it is exactly I should be keeping and what is a leverite. Here's the rocks I brought back, and this one that I thought was crisply, for sure is. Those little reds, the squares are garnets, the white is calcite. I'm not going to do anything more with that rock other than just enjoy it, but I have a bunch of others I'd like to learn from. If you look here, those little tiny ones are garnets. So I'm wondering. You can see three layers of rock. I'm wondering if there's something between this layer and the calcite. So I'm going to stick that in, in muriatic acid and etch it. Same with this one. No high hopes, but it'll be a learning thing for me. Is if I don't see anything on the outside, what's the possibility of something on the inside? Uh, a very almost sugary green rock. Let's see if that holds any magic. There we go, another calcite and a very porous rock. All three layers are almost sugary. Again, just want to learn if I'm supposed to be picking these things up or leaving them where they lay. So, there's another sugary. It almost, see I can break that one up by my hand. And, save the acid, that's no good. Throw it as far away as possible. Fugly. Okay, there's another one I want to etch. <laughs> and finally, one little wee one. But in cleaning it up, I was not wrong, but there was uh, actually a larger one next to it I probably should have taken. Because the little red ones are garnets. I doubt it has anything more inside, but we'll see. Okay, get back to you as soon as it's done in the HCL. Well, I don't know what's wrong with my eyes. But <laughs> the rocks I selected for etching, <laughs> no damn good. Let me show you real quick. The etching did not expose much in the way of new garnet at least nothing of any any size some little wee ones mind you I would say it's a it's a bit of a disappointment but I did learn something this sugary stuff doesn't hold any any crystals of any size 
can see there's just I don't know just a disappointment really but I did learn something hopefully you did as well well okay thanks for watching we will try to get back to that site as soon as we can before things freeze up in the meantime I think I'll get some new glasses bye for now